today, Ren. What a powerful speech we've had tonight. I would uh, title my speech, A uh, Call to Action. It's a very long speech, and I hope uh, we, uh, you all would uh, like to listen to it. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm humble on a serious note. I'm humbled and honored to stand uh, before you tonight in celebration of the uh, Christmas for Congo, the heart of Africa. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Congo Justice and the UNLV Student Organization, uh, Rebel Women's Rights Alliance for inviting the Las Vegas community as well as the African communities and their leaders to this historic occasion to help highlight the plight of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, just a couple of facts, among others, that has already been shared by other speakers. Around 1,200 people die every day as a, a direct result or indirectly uh, out of the conflict that occurs right now in Congo. And out, half of that number are children. Let me repeat that, that again. Around 1,200 people died every day as a direct or indirect result of the conflict in Congo. 600 of that number are children. I believe for those of us who have children in this room can identify with that. The second fact that I'd like to highlight tonight, the citizens of Congo prayed to be delivered from brutal militants that still control the central part of the eastern province, where rapes are so commonplace. I believe uh, one of the earlier speakers mentioned that, that one of the, uh, the UN um, envoys said, called the country the rape capital of the world. I would like to ask you tonight, would you choose today to lend your voice, your support to fighting this plight? As a community of people, we are one body, Africans, Europeans, Asians, Latinos, and Arabs, etc. As amply illustrated in the Bible, in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 12, it says a body is a unit and has many parts. And all the parts of the body are but one body. even though there are many parts. If the foot should say, I am not part of the body because I am not the hand, does that mean that it is not part of the body? If the hair should say, I am not part of the body, because I'm not an eye, does that mean that it is not part of the body? I'm sure most of you that are here, this, uh, here tonight 
probably hearing this fact about Congo for the first time. I'm glad you're here. And for those of us who are aware of the issues, are we going to stand on the sideline? Are we going to say, it's not my issue because I'm not from Congo? Congo is regarded, is, is called and is known as the heart of Africa. Of course, we all have hearts. And we all know if our heart is weak, the whole body is weak. Congo is not only the heart of Africa, but the whole world. I'd like to leave you tonight with this one question in your head. Let me say that again. As you leave here tonight, I'd like you to think of this one question in your head. How can I be a part of the solution? and search for answers for the plight of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Thank you.